Do you want to come with me to the craft store? I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby and get supplies to make my popular German bust design, which I have here. It's going to be a lot of fun because there's not a lot to this project. So I can't tell my daughter that I'm going to Hobby Lobby or else she's going to be upset because she likes to go there and try to buy everything in the whole store. I'm going to try to stay focused on what I came here for, which can be pretty tricky at a store like Hobby Lobby. So here I am in the paper aisle at Hobby Lobby. Really anything for your bus where the top is a light color, the roof is a light color, and the bottom is a bold color is gonna look really good. For this project, for the German bus, it uses two pieces of patterned paper and then three colors of solid paper, three pieces of solid color, 12 by 12 paper. I think the best way to start for something like this is to first choose your patterned paper. And since there's more than one sheet of it, and we want it to coordinate, I think it's a good idea to get a collection of paper instead of trying to find designs in the single sheets that coordinate, although it looks like that could work too. But I just found something that looks really cool and I think I might go with it. I haven't really looked at these before, but this one I think would be really, really cute. Like that's the kind of vibe that I want for my project. It has these sheets in it and what I'm looking for today is a darker color like this purple for the bottom of the bus. Um, I want my pattern paper down there to be some kind of bold color, like mostly a color. And this is mostly purple with the daisies there. Then for my top patterned paper on the top on the roof, I want a mostly white or a mostly light color. And that white with the dots is gonna be really perfect. The fact that this also comes with some stickers for me to use on my, on my bus really has me sold. So I'm going to be looking for a purple that goes with this purple here. A note about choosing solid paper. I recommend about 80 pound cardstock, which is what this cardstock is that they have. They do have textured 12 by 12 here at Hobby Lobby. They also have smooth, which can work too, but I prefer the textured paper because it just it looks nicer. It kind of camouflages any imperfections and it just looks really nice. So I'm going to get a sheet of white a sheet of purple to go with my roof and my bus. Here's what I like to do. So instead of just using dark gray or black for the tires, which is the third sheet of solid that I need, I'm gonna pick the darkest color here and just use that, which is this darkish blue. And I'm not exactly seeing that here in the textured paper. Oh, I spoke too soon. This, this will work. This is gonna be my tires piece and then a piece of purple textured. I really like this lighter purple color this is really the only textured purple that they have, and I think it's close enough that it's gonna look really good as the, the bus itself. And now I just need some vellum and some shiny paper. It looks like they just have plain, like white, plain vellum. I don't see any colors. So if you're looking for colors, you can find those on Amazon. The last thing I need as far as paper goes is some shiny paper. And on my original project, I used shiny silver, which looks like chrome, and I think you can't go wrong with that. However, if you wanted to be a little crazy, you could use gold if you feel like that goes with your paper. So they have some like primary colors of shiny paper and they have silver and gold. I'll probably just go with the silver. So now the only thing left on my shopping list is maybe some, some headlight bling and some circular embellishments. You can really use anything you want for the embellishments. I think that the circular ones look nice because they echo the tires, the hubcaps, the peace sign, the headlights. I think it just makes it kind of cohesive and nice, but you can certainly use anything. I am in the bling aisle and I'm having a hard time finding some bling. It goes on top of silver circles, but the perfect size is between a quarter inch and a half inch. Um, I'm not seeing anything like that. I, I only see, I'm only seeing really large bling and smaller bling. So to get the size that I really want here at Hobby Lobby, I'm actually gonna get this because I, I know I'll use it. It's like a billion jillion gemstones. So I'm not saying you have to buy a $9 thing of gemstones just to make the headlights. Smaller ones would look fine too. So I'm just gonna do a quick look in the color scheme of my paper collection and see if there's anything that kind of goes with it. This package of bling does go with the colors. And then these like enamel hearts are also really cute. Even though they're not circular, I think they're gonna look awesome. I'm kind of on a roll, so I might even get these yellow daisy 
stickers too. I think that might be it. I'm just gonna go take a look at like the beading area where they have some cool stuff too to maybe throw an unexpected element in there. Hold up, we got some other stuff over here. So these are really cute. They don't all coordinate, but I think having like an, an hard element makes it a cool project. I think if it's not just all paper, I think it's nice to have some some bling, some buttons, some bottle caps, anything that's like made out of a hard material. It's just a nice texture contrast. Well, I feel like I found enough embellishments. So I think I'm good. I think I'm ready to go. And I'm trying not to buy anything else. There's so much cute stuff. So I got everything I need. And I can't wait to see how this looks. I hope all the paper cuts out really well and everything. It was fun. I was just talking to the cashier and I said, oh, it's too bad there's no colored vellum. And she said, I know, there's like less, she's like, there's less crafting stuff in a craft store, which I guess is just a reflection of what people are buying. But they certainly have a lot of fun stuff for kids. I saw like a million things I could buy my daughter, but, but I didn't because she has a million things right now. I also brought a reusable shopping bag for my purchases and it's from Archivers. It says Archivers on it, right here. Well, you can't really tell. On the side, it says Archivers. And she was like, oh, oh my gosh, is that Archivers? And I was like, it sure is. And we talked about how we missed them. It was kind of like the Chicago suburbs um, scrapbook store, paper store, craft store, full of like to die for supplies that are pretty much just online, at least for for me anyway. As always, a lovely shopping experience at the Hobby Lobby in Oswego, Illinois. And that does it for this video. Stay tuned for how to cut it out with your cutting machine. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook. SVGcuts.com is my website and SVGcuts is my handle on all social media. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. I would love to see you there, so please follow me and say hi. Thanks. Now I'm gonna get home to my crafting and to my air conditioning. It is hot, 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 hot. home with new craft supplies. It's not the first time and it won't be the last.